Nathaniel Bandy. <laughs> Striving for originality. This top 10 intro is brought to you by Vector Star Productions. The Nintendo Project and I think it's very important that you young and fresh gamers not only enjoy all the new Wii U games, but also the classics. Thankfully, the Virtual Console is helpful in that manner, but at the same time, it's missing a ton of games that a lot of you probably haven't played. We'll be counting out the 10 games we'd like to see you all enjoy the most. So without further ado, let's a go! So you play as three mighty handsome agents where you save citizens based on how well you can shake to the rhythm. Yeah, that's a game. Elite Beat Agents was a solid rhythm game back in the early days of the Nintendo DS's lifetime and it would make me more than pleased to see this resurrected for newer players to get their hands on. Everyone should be able to watch well-dressed men shake it in your face. I mean, come on, I want that. Any man that dances to September by Earth, Wind & Fire with an afro probably deserves a second look. Isn't it funny how most Mario sports games turn out to be really fun? I mean, Mario Tennis and Mario Golf on the N64 is a blast. Mario Strikers Charged is insanely fun too. I do think that a lot of people forget about Mario Hoops 3 on 3. This was one of the few DS games that worked incredibly well with just touching the screen. Besides moving, you throw the ball with a touch screen, pass the ball to other players, make shots, sidestep, I mean, you name it. There's even Final Fantasy characters in this game, which isn't surprising considering Square Enix developed the title. You can use items like it's Mario Kart and there's unique special shots that each player can perform. This is a very underrated Mario sports game and it'd be great for virtual console. Number eight. Star Fox and Star Fox 64. Man, these are my childhood right here. Both of these are an absolute must. I recently have played through these and I mean, come on, I'll be honest, I do it every year. And they still hold up really well. What better time to release these than through the winter to gear players up for the launch of Star Fox Zero? These original two games are of the highest caliber when it comes to on-rail shooters, and it's a shame that Nintendo has not released them on the virtual console yet. And don't give me that excuse about the Super FX chip either. The world needs the original Star Fox, and it needs it now. Number seven. Okay, so it's finally been confirmed that Generation 1 of Pokemon is heading to the Virtual Console. I'm so glad to see Nintendo finally do this, as the batteries on the original cards are all starting to die out. Now, why don't we see this done with Generations 2 through 5 as well? While Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow is on the 3DS only, maybe they could bring that to the Wii U. While we do see Pokemon games on home consoles, we've never seen an official main series Pokemon game on one. I'm not counting being able to play Generation 1 through Pokemon Stadium either. Nintendo should take the chance and see how well they hold up. Number well, here's a trio of Sonic games that are incredible that no one ever talks about. The Sonic Advance Trilogy returned the series back to its 2D roots and did it in spades. These games pay so much homage to the original games on the Genesis while introducing the players to some new mechanics and playable characters as well. Wanna play as Tails? You got it! How about Knuckles? Here you go! Amy? Yeah, she's also there. What about Cream? Oh, yeah, you can play as her too. Or is it a guy? Is it a girl? I don't even remember. I love how this series can get the heart pumping as a smile stays on my face when I'm blasting through the levels. The level design in these games are just so crisp and clean and you never get bored of the loops, grind rails, or stomping Eggman in his chubby face. Number five. So Super Smash Bros for the Wii U is an extremely popular game and will be so for years to come. It's so special that Nintendo made a GameCube adapter exclusively for that game. That got me thinking something very obvious. Melee, why isn't that for sale? The Wii U clearly can support the GameCube controllers. Melee is getting expensive as a physical copy because more and more people are playing it competitively. Seriously, Nintendo is throwing money away by not making this available. And don't tell me there would be problems emulating it. The Wii U is selling Wii games which is more powerful than the GameCube was. Number four. Squaresoft games. Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, Chrono Trigger, Mario RPG, Illusion of Gaia, Secret of Mana, Rad Racer 1 and 2, Secret of Evermore. Nintendo, fix whatever problems you have with Square Enix and get these on your consoles. We need these! All of them! Do it! Do it now! Number three. 
You want to talk about great Pokemon spinoffs? Pokemon Snap was one of those and it's still a blast to play today. I'd love to see this game come back because there's nothing else quite like it. You take pictures of Pokemon and sometimes have to do things like throw berries for example to get them to come into frame. What would be even better is if you could bring the photos you take in game to Miiverse to share with all your friends. It would be altering the game slightly but that'd be a great addition. Number two. Oh my gosh. Diddy Kong Racing? Where do I begin? This game has so much heart, so much replayability, so many animals! I love it! This is by far my favorite racing game of all time, and yes, it is objectively better than Mario Kart 64 in every way, Nathaniel. Even battle mode. Because there's planes! And boats! Then there's a hub world to travel around to with an elephant! Does Mario Kart 64 have elephants? No! No it doesn't! Anyway, I really like this game, and I hope Nintendo works out a deal with Microsoft to put the rare characters on the system. And now, the number one game you want on the virtual console is... What is Nintendo all about when you come down to it? They make games that friends can play together in the same room. No other game does this better than the classic Mario Party titles on the N64. All the games have fantastic minigames, classic characters, interesting boards, and of course the devil himself. Chance Time. A lot of people either love or hate Chance Time, as it's the biggest game breaker. Say what you want about how unfair Mario Party is, if it wasn't so unfair, it wouldn't make it fun. Mario Party is a game you don't take seriously. You play it if you just want to relax and have a fun time with some friends. And also, don't forget to like or dislike this video. I'm cool with whatever choice you use. Please feel free to leave a comment and let me know what games you think Nintendo should bring to the virtual console and why. Make sure to hop on the bandywagon and follow my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Tumblr. I hope you all have a great day. And remember that life's a dream for the wise, a game for the fool, a comedy for the rich, and a tragedy for the poor.